Good morning. Okay, it's quarter past ten on the 27th of May. And here we are in front of the glass beehive. Um, as you can see, the population is enormous. There's about 40 to 50,000 bees in this colony at the moment. And what often happens when we've got a very high population density is that the colony uh, gets uh, um, highly motivated to, to, to swarm. And the process of swarming is that they'll usually form cells along the bottom of the frames um, and the queen will lay an egg in there. That egg, uh, when it emerges, when the larva emerges from the, from the egg, uh, it will be fed um, raw jelly, 100% raw jelly, and that uh, activates a process of, of development which um, ensures that a queen will emerge from those cells. Um, so in this case, what's happened is that the, 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 the bees have formed these cells on the inner faces of, of these frames where I couldn't see them. So the other day I was a little bit surprised to see uh, a, a virgin queen running around in this area here. And she was being pursued by, by worker bees uh, who in fact eventually killed her. And my interpretation of, of, of this situation is that if the colony has a vigorous queen, which we obviously have a vigorous queen in this hive because she's very efficient and she's laid lots of eggs and she's raised this entire colony of bees. If we have a queen like that, they're not at all inclined to accept a new queen. And so they, they, they'll, they'll kill those queens off. And I think that's what probably happens when you've got a situation where you've got a period of bad weather which prevents the old queen from, from leaving the colony. Um, and um, they, uh, they, they just won't tolerate these virgin queens when they emerge not at the same time uh, however over the last two days we've had this situation which I've been trying to interpret and predict what's going to happen uh, so far I've been pretty unsuccessful today I thought they might swarm I thought maybe the old queen will just take off and leave the, the, the virgin queens to, to continue with the colony, but that hasn't happened. In fact, something much more interesting has happened. Um, what we've got right here, if we zoom in here, is what I think is sometimes called a murder ball. Just by the way, you can hear You can hear that peeping noise. That's a virgin queen that's in here. So there's still a virgin queen in here. But there's also one in the center of this ball. Um, and what they're doing here is, if we had an infrared camera, you'd see that this is incredibly hot. They've taken the temperature way up inside this ball and they're killing the queen that's in there. That's her there, I can actually see her. She's underneath that bee. You can see her thorax, there she is. There's a queen in there, right there. I, you're unlikely to be able to see that without a magnifying lens on this camera. But yep, there's a queen in the bit in the, in that ball. Whether it maybe it's the old queen that sometimes happens too. They sometimes uh, a colony uh, at some stage in its life will want to requeen itself, um, and uh, and that's what they do. They they raise new queens and. Uh, when they emerge, they, they, they get the old queen and they, they bump her off. Um, so yeah, it's a, a real uh, sort of game of thrones that's going on here. But I think in this case, these are virgin queens that are being killed and that the old queen continues to be in this, in this area. I can't see her today, but she's been here over the last few days. I've seen her several times. She's actually laying eggs. There's also another thing that if we go in here, you can see the beginnings of a queen cell. So they're still very keen to swarm, but they're just not going to swarm with the, the queens that have emerged from this colony, from this last round of, of queen, queen cells. There's another queen cell 
somewhere in here. Uh, I can't see it right now. But there's another one in here. They've covered it up. They look after they cover they, it's, it's often quite difficult to spot queen cells because they but you can see that one there. Can you? No. It's, they're all over it. They're they're looking after it. They polish them and uh, feed the larvae with uh, with royal jelly and uh, look after the, the. There's there's one there. There's one there. That's a queen cell. Quite an early one, but yeah, that's a queen cell coming out. Um, so I think that's that's my general interpretation. Just to to go over what I've just already said. New queens queens emerged while the old queen was in the colony. The bees, because of the presence of the old queen, won't tolerate uh, the presence of the new queens. They'll bump them off, kill them off with these murder balls. Um, and because the population is so dense, they're continuing to, to have this urge to swarm, to produce new queens and to create the new colony. And um, yeah, that's, that's what I think is going on, but they may well surprise me yet. But uh, I hope that might inspire you to uh, have a go with a project like this, or keep bees, whatever. They they'll look after themselves, really. They, we just we just annoy them and uh, and uh, complicate their lives. They're they're quite capable of doing their own thing, really. Um, so there you go. I hope that's an inspiration.